Number eight, bullhorn acacia ants. These ants, as the name suggests, have a very specific choice for their habitat, which is the acacia tree. They use the empty branches of these trees as their home. While living in them, acacia ants act as a defender against attackers, including other insects and humans. They thereby defend the tree as well. And in getting a home from the tree and defending it, acacia trees and acacia ants share a symbiotic relationship. To defend themselves, acacia ants use their bite as a weapon. It must be very effective, for their bite is said to create a rare, piercing, and elevated sort of pain. Number seven, bald-faced hornets. Bald-faced hornets are the largest of their species. Their nature is very aggressive. These species are isolated to North America. These wasps choose high altitudes to make their nests, reaching up to 65 feet above the ground. Their stings are not the most dangerous, but they are very unpleasant. For Schmidt, the hornet stings are interestingly described as this, rich, hardy, and slightly crunchy. Number six, German yellow jackets. These are the black and yellow wasps that have a pretty unique defense mechanism. They use a chemical odor around their nest to scare off predators. Unlike bees, their darts are removed from the victim's skin after the sting. That makes it possible for them to sting multiple times. Such stings, according to Justin Schmidt, are hot, smoky, and almost irreverent. Number five, killer bees. These bees are a hybrid of African and Western honeybees. In Brazil, 1956, these breeds were artificially crossed in hopes of increasing honey productivity, a huge mistake. Before this breed could be depopulated, it made its way into the wild where it continued breeding, evolving into the killer bees we have today. Unfortunately, this one has no mention in the Schmidt Index, so here's what we can say about their sting. It is not more dangerous than other bee breeds, but like with yellow jackets, killer bees are capable of making a sting multiple times, so their stings could be considered irreverent as well. Number four, red harvester ants. For Schmidt, the sting of a red harvester ant is bold and unrelenting. Only a paltry 10 milligrams of venom from a red ant are enough to take down a 176 pound man and that's just with their stingers. They can bite as well as sting, and repeatedly too. Aggressive to the extent of killing many big animals, the damage a red harvester ant can do is just vicious. Number three, paper wasps. We can identify them easily by their slender frames and orange antennas. Located in Asia, Australia, and North America, they build their nests on human constructions such as rooftops. Then in winter, they love to hibernate underground, inside trees, and even inside houses. The dominant creatures in their colonies are their queens, whose venomous sting is caustic and burning. Number two, spider wasps. These wasps are hardcore. They hunt tarantulas, which is why they're also called tarantula hawks. They are not at all hesitant to fight against these eight-legged creatures. Their dart measures seven millimeters long, and it stings very deep. It induces immediate pain and paralyzes the victim for several minutes. Schmidt classified the pain as blinding, fierce, and shockingly electric. It's a relief the venom is not that toxic, though the pain it causes is intense. Number one. Bullet ants. The bullet ants earn their name as their sting is so unbelievably painful when one is shot with it. Worse yet, the pain can last up to 24 hours. Hence, bullet ants are also called 24 hour ants. In some Amazonian tribes, they are used in the rituals marking the passage from childhood into adulthood. Schmidt's description pure, intense, and brilliant. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you have already, stay tuned for more videos like this.